Hey guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. In this video, I'm going to help you guys on getting the Safi resource, which is the resource you're going to need on terms of upgrading the star chart, which is the brand new vendor in Season 18. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Why not subscribe and why not like? That would mean a lot to the channel, and it helps out get us to 15,000 subscribers, which is the goal in, in my mind right now. And again, thanks for all the support. It would mean a lot to get to that goal. And yeah, thank, and we'll be posting a lot more guides on resources all throughout season 18 all even more further than resources on any other thing throughout season 18 so be sure to subscribe and turn on that bell so you never miss out but yeah let's get right into it so Safi is the brand new ranking system well basically reputation that, that you're going to be using for the star chart if you want to get some of these new beacon rewards if you want to get some of the, tre the new glimmer treasure map I bet all of you have glimmer but you get the point if you want to get some of these spoils of blender armor the map fragments, and even this, which is the large treasure beacon, which will give you a buried exotic accessory. Have no idea what this is, but very interesting resources. So Safi, how do you get Safi Redrix? Well, Safi, of course, com it comes from Catchcraft and Expedition missions, and you will, of course, they will increase your Safi total if you do more of the seasonal activity. I'm rank five so far. I've just finished the first week of the story and I just played one catchcraft, one expedition, and one hideout. Hideouts will be the weekly mission by the way so that's why you don't see it here. Probably on maybe a lockhead or something. I'm not really totally sure with that but again it is a weekly mission. So again catchcraft and expeditions will be the best activity play and you will have the terms uh, you will have the master mode of this as well so very interesting stuff if you do this and I believe this will give extra Safi to my belief I believe however there's no matchmaking and the expedition gear is actually higher the weapon you can get high stat armor and ascendant alloys and there's champions so it can be a bit of a doozy if it's at 1600 you know if some players haven't played that much but again there is going to be some things there to be aware of you can actually get more Safi Abbey from doing the master mode to my belief. If I'm wrong, I'll let you know in the comments, but I was told that you can. Maybe there's, I know there's a lot of glitches today, guys, by the way. There's been plethora of glitches on terms of the reward dropping and reward not dropping, glitches just terms of every activity on day one. So just be aware that everything is just kind of in a different type of role right now, so hopefully those issues get resolved later on and we don't need to worry about it uh, later in the, on in the season. But just main per main thing is that Catchcraft and Expedition missions will increase your Safi reputation. And that is the main goal here, of course. Now, Redrix, if I do Catchcraft and I do Expedition, what am I going to gain out of it as well? Well, you're going to gain a lot of loot. Because as soon as you finish the first quest, of course there will be a quest here and it will tell you what to do. You will get the Captain's Atlas, which will be your like best resource but how I think of it if you played the dawning you put a of course treasure map in you go play the activity of course you have to get the resources to put the treasure map in you go play the activity and you get rewards out of it something just normal as that so of course you get the basic treasure map in the quest for it the first first quest and then of course you get the glimmer treasure map but you can even get even further treasure maps as we progress throughout the season and unlock them which is awesome and you can get even more rewards so this one will give me three plundered umbral energy and then expedition armor now it tells you at the bottom you need to get eight map fragments and you need to get treasure coordinates treasure coordinates are really easy you can get like 35 out of a public event very easy stuff, so don't worry about treasure coordinates at all, guys. Definitely an easy source. Map fragments, of course, can come from expedition-type activities as well, the Season 18 activities, and furthermore, it can come from the star chart as well. It can come from a lot of sources. can come from there, come from catchcraft activities, can come from the Season Pass. A lot of ways to get fragments, so don't worry too much on the fragment side because there's many ways to get fragments in Season 18. So after you get all those fragments, you put it in here, you put it in your catchcraft, eventually after that, you will be able to put your treasure map in. You go to an expedition, and there you go. The reward you picked in that treasure map will give it to you, and that's awesome. The more treasure maps we earn, the more rewards we're probably going to get, the bigger the treasure maps are, which is really awesome to see. So definitely some awesome stuff there. Now, of course, again, be aware that you can only hold... 
150 map fragments at a time, and I believe 325 treasure coordinates, and I believe they don't go to your postmaster or whatever, so it can be just remembered about that. There's, again, a lot of glitches on day one with this, the resources and the drop rate on map fragments and all that, so just be aware of that going forward. But again, if you play the catch craft activities, you play the expedition missions to incre just to increase your Safi, but at the same time also getting the map fragments and grinding those out. Again, we'll get more map fragments later on, more treasure maps, so we'll help out on terms of rewards, not earning the same reward back to back. But you get the idea, it's only week one in the season. Little other thing to let note is that there is some upgrades in here that will actually increase your Safi from completing the plunder activities. However, you have to get the Riptude, ho hopefully I said it right, if I didn't, my apologies, resource, which only comes from, guess what, seasonal challenges. These two seasonal challenges, maybe even three on each week. So you won't be able to upgrade the vendor a lot each other week. Of course, I only have two upgrades, and I think that's the max for this week. So it's going to take a while to upgrade this vendor out in terms of just getting the upgrades. But these upgrades can scale from anything, from, of course, increasing a reload speed, from putting another per a crewmate in the mission, from helping you decrypt Season of the Plunder armor, to find more treasure maps on defeated combatants, to just if you just do an emote on a bonus random chest you get more <laughs> rewards like there's a lot of stuff in this and i cannot wait to upgrade all these but of course safi will be one of the resources you're going to need and again just playing the activity and getting maybe some of the upgrades that says increasing the safi earned from those resources will help you even get it further and a more of a mount for it so you don't need to worry about it and of course you can rank up to big rewards like this buried exotic accessory and then resetting your rank hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did then please subscribe and like because it means a lot to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys